Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwbiconcepts.com. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement a rapidly changing dimension. And in this case, we will consider that the source customer table have two attributes, one the status and another the full address. The status being a very rapidly changing or very frequently changing kind of attribute and the full address being a very slowly changing kind of attribute. For that case, we will need to implement or handle them separately one using a slowly changing dimension of type 2 will consider the full address to be of nature slowly changing and we will handle all the historical or we will capture all the historical changes based on a slowly changing dimension table of type 2 and with regards to the status which is a very frequently changing attribute of the source table we need to capture that frequently changing attribute with the help of our junk dimension and a mini dimension so in if in case we used to handle that attribute status in, in, in the form of an SCD type 2, that table would become very huge in size soon and it will become non-performing. Let us go straight into the implementation in data services job. The job typically looks like this. As we have discussed that we will be considering two key attributes, the status and the full address. So the initialization script is actually taking care of the a few global variables dollar sys date dollar from date and dollar date 2 which will be populated as a part of the uh, slowly changing uh, dimensions attributes to maintain history and this dollar cdc date that we have done previously also in all our examples that this will be help to, helpful to capture the change data to extract the change data from the source based on the last previous job execution status which has been maintained in the batch control table let us go back and check the implementation in the data flow. This data flow looks similar to what we have implemented earlier for SCD type 2. Over here the below part deals with the slowly changing attribute and the upper section deals with the rapidly changing attribute. So we will concentrate more on the rapidly changing attribute. The slowly changing attribute that is the full dimension, uh, full address of the customer is being handled the same way we have performed earlier for SCD type 2 implementation. For the implementation logic of the rapidly changing attribute which is the status field of a customer, this is the status field I am talking of and the full address we will handle it as a slowly changing attribute and using a SCD type 2 table. Now with regards to a status table, we have populated a pre-populated or junk customer dimension table with a segment key and the status values. Let us view the data. This is how we have populated the table uh, segment key with this corresponding status values. These are the values which are frequently getting changed for each customer and we want to capture all those states, all those statuses in a form of a history. Let us go to the implementation logic. So in this query transform what we are doing, we are joining all the three tables, performing an extraction based on the last date of extraction change data capture. Next, here we are performing a lookup on the customer dimension which is of SCD type 2 to identify which records are for insert, which record are for upsert as previously we used to do the same. Apart from that, over here what we are doing is to take a return of the segment key based on the status. So, based on the input status, we are performing a lookup on the junk customer dimension and we are getting the segment key as a return value. In the next stage, we are going to look up the mini dimension. Let us have a look how the mini dimension actually looks like. This is our target mini dimension which is used to handle or capture all the historical changes of very rapidly uh, occur, uh, very rapidly changing attribute from the source which is a status table, which is a status column. So, over here we are maintaining source customer ID which is the source natural key, the segment key of the junk dimension, the effective date from and the effective date to followed by a load date. This is how the structure of the mini dimension has been designed. So, over here let us go and have a look, modify function call. We are performing a lookup on the mini customer status dimension that is our mini dimension based on the 
source customer ID and where the effective end date is being set to the futuristic date. So, we are based on those records we are getting the return value of the segment key and the effective date from. So, this will give the latest record of that customer source customer ID which is currently active in our mini dimension. Next in this query transform we are flagging the records. This flag is for the slowly changing attribute which is the full address. So, what we are doing here is same what we have done earlier also look up if the customer key exist in the does not exist in the target SCD2 then we insert it if it exists and there is a difference in the address fields then we upset the statement and act accordingly else we discard. Now, check the rapidly changing attribute the flag to mark a record for insert or update in the mini dimension. Over here uh, if the customer key is null then it means that record is not there neither in the dimension table of SCD type 2 or in the mini dimension table. So, we need to insert that record in the mini dimension table also and if that record exists in the mini dimension table and if there is a difference in the segment key which means that there was a change in status of the customer and in that case we need to upset that record we need to insert a new record and update the existing record else we can discard that record. So, this scenario has been captured separately because you can understand that it might be a case where full address gets changed and the status have not changed and in another scenario the status can get changed whereas the full address attribute is not changed because it is a slowly changing in attribute. So, for that reason we need to handle them, handle them uh, separately after that we use a case transform. So, this part is the uh, same what we did previously. So, I will not be going into the detail of this section where we are capturing the SCD type 2. The same logic we are following over here let us check the RCD implementation rapidly changing dimension implementation. Over here we are again doing two flows based on the flag which is RCD insert upset and update path modify uh, having RCD flag as upset. Based on that let us check the update path. So, we need to update those records having source customer ID, the segment key and the effective date from and we are going to pop the effective end date is set to the dollar for, means this is a futuristic date we need to set up and we are performing a map operation and uh, treating the upcode of normal and modifying it to update. So, over here based on the source customer ID, the segment key and the effective date from the effective date to that is the end date futuristic end date will be close to the system date because we have set over here date from. Also this segment key is the last value that is what we have done performed as a lookup based on the source customer ID. So, that is why based on the source customer ID the previous existing lookup value and the date from we are going to uniquely identify that record and update that corresponding effective end date because the status got changed. And in the other part which is the insert part whenever there is a new record coming in or whenever there is a change we need to insert one more record right. So, for that case we are using the source customer ID, the new segment key from the junk dimension as a part of the lookup based on the status, the effective date from which is coming from the source and sent to the dollar system date effective date 2 is coming from the source which is set to the futuristic date and the load date which is set to the system date. And finally, our mini dimension and as a part of our practice what we are doing is using a overflow file if there is any rejections we will get those records in the reject file. So, this is how basically we handle the rapidly changing attributes with the help of a mini dimension and a junk dimension combination and this part we are 
handling the SCD implementation of some of the attributes which might be of very slowly changing nature. And the rest of the stuff remains as is, so I don't want to go into the details regarding the catch and the final script, which are as same what we have done in the earlier examples. For any questions, please visit dwbiconcepts.com. Thank you.